All right, so I want to talk about, reluctantly that is, Wii Music. So Wii Music is a much different game from the rest of the games under the Wii moniker. And by that, I mean it's not good. Say what you will about the other games in the Wii series, whether that be Wii Play or Wii Fit or whatever, Wii Music is objectively the worst one in terms of being a video game. It's boring, it's repetitive, and I don't exactly know how to play, and I keep losing. Oh wait, I've just been playing Minesweeper this whole time. Alright, so jokes aside, Wii Music is typically seen as being the worst in the Wii series of video games, and even Nintendo knows this with Wii Music being the only game out of the North American Wii series of games to not receive a direct follow-up game. If you ask me, Wii Music was doomed to fail from the very beginning. You see, Wii Music was supposedly inspired by a bell ringing minigame that was originally planned to be a part of Wii Play, but hey, instead of beefing up that game and even more, why not take a minigame idea, flesh it out into its own full-fledged release? It's not like there was any other minigame in Wii Play that would have been better off as a full-blown idea, right? Right? Right, guys? Guys? So, while Wii Music released fully in 2008, there's been some form of the game floating around there all the way back since 2005. Heck, this game was even showed off alongside the Wii Remote. So one might ask, what did they do during those three years from initial reveal to final release? Good question! Wii Music released to horrible critic and user score is usually around anywhere from 50 to 60 out of 100, with many critics saying that it is a standout from the rest of the Wii series of games. I think it's safe to say that this game underperformed for what Nintendo was expecting, only selling around 2.5 to 3 million copies. Which isn't bad for a Wii game, but considering Wii Fit Plus of all games sold 21 million copies, I didn't even know that game existed for the longest time. But you know what? I was one of those almost 3 million people who did get a copy of this game upon release. It's not necessarily something I'm lucky to say, but it is true. I honestly don't remember how or when I even got this game, it could have been a gift or I got the game and picked it out while I was at Walmart or something, but truthfully, I'm just convinced it spawned there one day, like my copy of Wii Music just showed up out of nowhere. But that didn't stop me from playing this game. So spoiling what I'm going to say in a bit, but this game is boring to play, but as a kid, man I loved this game for some reason. Now, that doesn't mean I sat around and played it a bunch, but when I did play Wii Music, I actually enjoyed myself. I have no bad memories with Wii Music, however, I almost never returned to this game after that first little bit of getting it. And now that I have, I haven't been the same. Alright, so upon booting up the game, we were greeted by the ugliest Muppet looking thing I have seen, a short joke, and being tired of how repetitive this game is already. I'm not even past the tutorial, and I'm already bored out of my mind. Upon suffering past the unskippable intro, we are met with four options to choose from, which is more like three because one of them is just a few existing songs you've already made in the past. Yeah, actually, it's more like two because one of the options is just music lessons, which are exactly what you could do in free play, except you have to unlock them by playing free play mode, which defeats the whole point of even having this. Really thinking about it, there's just kind of one mode because free play has absolutely no objectives at all. Alright, so upon booting up the video game, you have access to only one option, mini games. Only three mini games to be precise, but there are mini games. So I'm going to start out with the mini games because it's the best and arguably only good part of Wii Music, at least in terms of gameplay. Starting off, we've got Me Maestro. This is the most basic minigame out of the bunch, you just move your Wiimote around like you were directing an orchestra. This just means that depending on how fast or slow you are swinging your arm is how fast or slow the music will play. There is a scoring system, but it honestly makes no sense to how it works. This is a very bland and boring minigame, but it can be funny at times, just to butcher the song by changing the speed randomly or even just stopping it at times entirely. If you fully stop the song, all the Miis will break the fourth wall and just stare directly into the camera waiting for you, and that's kind of funny and charming. The next minigame is Handbell Harmony, an actual music rhythm game. This is easily the best part of Wii Music, in my opinion. You'll be given two handbells to hold, and depending on what color set you have, dictates what notes you'll swing at. Think of Guitar Hero, but with two handbells and the occasional double input because it's a 2008 Wii game with motion controls. Sounds fun, right? 
Surprisingly, this minigame is actually pretty fun. The biggest disappointment is that Hembell Harmony, and even Me Maestro for that matter, only have five songs each, with Handbell Harmony only having one of those songs with a hard difficulty. I guess to Handbell Harmony's credit, you can change which bells you hold during each song, so there is technically 20 different tracks to play with different notes that you have to hit, but that doesn't change the fact that there's still only five songs total. The last minigame is Pitch Perfect. This is essentially Find Me from We Play, but with music, if that makes sense. You will be tasked with finding the me playing the highest pitch note, or find two me's playing the same note, for example. It's a lot of fun and there is some variation, but after a while with how many levels there are and not too much different from the last, it does get pretty repetitive pretty quickly. But those are the mini games, not really too much to them, although I will admit there is some fun to be had here, even if it's just for a little while. And while I did joke about it, there is more to Wii music than just the mini games like taking lessons from that ugly thing at the beginning of the game. They are extremely boring and thank goodness I have heard from others that they are repetitive and only use Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as the practicing song, so I did not have to personally play through the lessons myself. So besides the mini games, the main other game mode is Jam Sessions. These are the free play portion of the game where you just pick a song and which instrument and you go hog wild with that song. The game does encourage you to do whatever you want, so there really is no incentive behind this. Regardless, this is what most people know and remember, and honestly even play Wii Music for. There is a couple of different ways that you can go about doing a jam session. You can do a quick jam which just throws you into a random song with a random assortment of backup instruments and you just kinda go along with it. Or you can customize the song to what you want and what instrument you want to play, how many backups you have, what instruments they play, etc etc. You can customize just about everything when it comes to a custom jam session. Then just play the song however you want, and at the end of your jam session, customized or not, you have the option to save your song as a video. This lets you rank your song to your own liking, and then you can make an album cover for it. And as much as I have given this game flack, the album art customization is always fun to goof around with. You can make some pretty out there covers, and you can make some pretty legit looking nice ones too. It's all up to you. These songs you save will go to the videos option on the main menu and you can rewatch and visit them again later. It really makes you feel like you've created something and published it out there into the world. Which is honestly pretty cool because actually publishing any form of media or entertainment is something I could never actually see myself doing. Wait, that's the main mode of Wii Music. This is what I remember playing the most as a kid when I first got the game. And I am sure that just like everyone else, my experience with the game ended up always just being me creating the most annoying array of instruments imaginable and just swinging my arms around like a madman trying to hit as much notes as possible. That cat suit and swinging my arms at 100 miles per hour is the cause of many laughs as a kid. And to completely date my childhood as being from the 2000s, I would go and get my eye dog out and set it next to the TV while doing jam sessions and watch it dance and sing along to the worst music to ever pass through a human's ear. Times were simpler back then. There's also a part where you can try out and see all the different types of instruments you've unlocked and that's honestly one of the best parts of Wii Music because you can just quickly and easily check out multiple different instruments and see what they do. But that's pretty much the bulk of Wii Music as a whole. There really isn't much to it and in my opinion it almost becomes hard to even call this a video game at times. It feels more like Wii's alternative to a really cut down version of GarageBand or any other music creation tool. Which honestly is okay considering that's kinda what Nintendo was going for when making Wii Music. They wanted to make a music creation tool that anyone could easily access and understand, and to Nintendo's credit there are accounts of people crediting Wii Music as what inspired them to get into music production, which I think is pretty cool. Meanwhile I have absolutely zero musical talents whatsoever so I'm guessing this game didn't quite inspire me the same way it did others. But that's okay, me and my iDogs still had fun. An interesting thing about this game is that the director is Kazumi Tutaka, who is a composer and who is responsible for a lot of the music in the Animal Crossing, Pikmin, Yoshi, and multiple other Nintendo games. This was his first and only directorial role in a video game, and I couldn't think of a better game for him to head that role than a Nintendo music game. But with all that said, I hate to say that the music selection in this game is horrible and one of people's most frequent complaints about the Wii music. You see, there's about 50 or so tracks in Wii Music, but most of them are taken from the public domain.
This means we get stuck with a bunch of really old generic songs, some as old as from the early 1700s, and most of them being from the 1800s. There are a few recent songs here and there if you consider the 1980s recent, but besides that the most recent and up-to-date songs in Wii Music are Nintendo songs. And even those are basically just main title themes for a few franchises like Mario, Zelda, F-Zero, etc. I mean, I don't exactly know what kind of music would have been better to include without completely dating the game to the late 2000s, but the selection was far from perfect. But to give the game one last compliment, because I feel like I've trashed on it a bit recently, the box art for this game is actually pretty good. At least here in North America, the box art has a bunch of instruments and music notes exploding out from the band at the bottom of the case, and this is all done in a holographic foil, and it looks pretty nice. I always appreciate when a game's box art adds just that little bit extra to make it that much nicer. And hey, it may not be the best design in terms of box art, but compared to what the manual cover is, we could have done a lot worse. There was talks and hopes for a sequel and a follow-up to Wii Music at some time, but something tells me the world wasn't really asking for a Wii Music Plus or a Wii Music U. Now I think for what it's worth, Wii Music was a fine enough video game. It is far, far from perfect and could have been a lot more fun if Nintendo had focused its attention more on the minigames and actual video game side of Wii Music instead of the music creation side. Imagine if Wii Music had a more fleshed out minigames like Wii Fit does. That game accomplishes to be a video game and a workout routine. It's hard not to think there's a world out there where Wii Music accomplishes the same thing but with music creation. I don't know. I want to wish that this game was better, but at the same time, I can't possibly imagine much better gameplay than this. Yeah.